I'm about to show you the best methods how all of your favorite pros are getting zero input delay in Fortnite. And in the first place now, guys, we're going to change your keyboard data queue size. That one is super important for input delay. What you got to do is go into your Windows search bar, type in direct until you can find registry editor, right click onto it and run it as administrator. Then I'm going to paste the following path into the video description. You can straight up copy it and just paste in here, press enter, and then you're going to see this window here on the HK local machine, system, current control side, all in all until you can find parameters. And then in here now, we're going to find keyboard data queue size. Double click onto it. And for most of you, it's probably going to be on 100. And I'm going to explain real quick how it works. If the value data is set to 100, you can do 100 key presses on your keyboard and they're all going to get in line waiting to be transferred into actual actions on your PC. So in a game like Fortnite, you know, where you spam like W, A, S, and D editing, all of that, they all get in line and they're waiting to be actually transferred into actions in the game. And if we actually lower the value data to something like 65, which I usually use, we basically made the buffer shorter. So there's less key presses waiting for an action. And this can potentially decrease your input delay. For me personally, I noticed the difference when I actually went down to 65. Basically, the lower you go, the less input delay you're going to have. But there is a turning point where it's too low, where it's actually going to cause issues because not all the key presses can get in line. So what you want to do is go all the way down from 100 and basically test out with five steps to see which one still works the best for you where it's not noticeable that actually some key presses are not registering. So for me, I went from 100 to 95, then to 90, then like 80, and I actually figured out that 65 works perfect on my PC. Keep it on hexadecimal. As mentioned, you have to try this out for your own PC to basically see which value doesn't affect your editing speed anymore, but actually give you disadvantages because out of nowhere, your editing byte is like a lot worse with noticing that you hit an edit and while moving W, S, and D and weapon slots, switching to pickaxes, you get the point. So for me, 65 works the best. Click on OK, and then you are done with the keyboard data queue size. And next up, guys, the same here still in the registry editor. We actually want to disable prefetching and what this has as benefits is it can reduce background disk activity faster loading times on ssds which is also pretty nice and it can even decrease your ram usage on your system so pretty nice features which we can do with one simple tweak you basically went to hk local machines then system current control set control session manager memory management and then prefetch parameters i'm of course also going to put it into the video description so don't be worried about it now what you got to do is click on enable prefetcher and then you're gonna see the core value is gonna be on three. But what we actually wanna do is put it on zero and still keep it on hexadecimal. That way we can disable it, getting all the advantages out of it, speeding up your SSD on your PC, since a lot of people have that. Very easy tweak, super easy to do. And if you don't like it, of course, you can always revert it or every single of these steps with going back to free. And then all you gotta do is close your editor itself and restart your PC. For this next step, guys, we're going to use the Mark C Windows 10 mouse acceleration fix, because for whatever reason, a mouse cursor actually is proven to be not be 100% correct on Windows 10. So if you're using that, this is exactly how you can fix it. What you're gonna do is click onto the link in the video description so that you can find this website and get the latest version of it guys it's gonna redirect you to a OneDrive link from where you can actually download it once you get the file then on your pc you're going to open it up and it should look exactly like this here so the only one which we of course need is windows 10 fixes and this is exactly how it should look like i would recommend you to maybe create a new file onto your desktop and then put it in there this is exactly what i'm going to do and paste all of the files onto your desktop and now in order to select the right file for your pc what i want to do is right click onto your display go into display settings and then you can see your scale and layout. For me and for most of you, it's probably going to be on 100% recommended, but there's also tons of people who have it on 125, 150, and so on and on. So therefore, I know for me, I need to click on 100% scale. If you want to revert it, here's again the default value, guys, but this one is going to make your mouse cursor so much more precise. What you want to do is click on the one which is right for you, double click onto it, click on a yes, and add it into your registry. And then afterwards, you're going to notice your mouse cursor is going to be a lot more precise, and it's going to be easier to go for edits in Fortnite. What you then also want to use 100% guys is the windows game mode settings themselves please just go into your windows search bar type in that game mode and then you're gonna find it you definitely want to make sure that this one is enabled on windows 10 windows 11 it literally doesn't matter it improved so much over the last few years giving you so much less input delay and higher fps in fortnite what you can do additionally is as well go under graphics and make sure that you add fortnite manually under browse and all you gotta do is find basically wherever you have your fortnite for me it's on program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries and windows 64 and then you're gonna add your fortnite client windows 64 shipping exa then open it up click under options and make sure to put it on 
high performance. That one is such a game changer when it comes down to performance in Fortnite and you definitely want to use those two settings. Are you tired of having high ping in Fortnite and you wonder how all your favorite Fortnite pros always seem to have zero delay? What you need for that is no ping guys. Your number one client to reduce your ping in every single game you guys want to play. Let's say you want to play Fortnite, you just search it up, select it and no ping is going to give you an overview of all of the best servers available in your Neo. And the coolest part is it works on multiple regions. So if you like to play cash cap on a different region, it can still help you to get the best server. So just select the server you want to use, click on to optimize this game and no ping is going to automatically help you to get the best connection possible. Additionally, they also feature some FPS boost features and they're all tested tweaks which are going to help you to improve your system speed. Make sure to check out no ping with the link in the video description. So for this next step, you're going to go into a Windows search bar and type in their mouse until you can find your mouse settings themselves and you can see on the right side related settings where we're going to click under additional mouse options. Once this window pops up, once this window pops up, you actually want to click under pointer options and what you definitely don't want to have enabled is enhanced pointer precision. This one you want to have unchecked guys, super important. Then we're going to go back into our search bar, type in that keyboard until we can find the keyboard control panel. Open it up as well and now once we're in here we have character repeat where we can put our repeat delay on short, super important. The same as well with repeat rate. This one you also want to put all the way to the right side onto fast. Now if you're actually spamming keys on your keyboard you will then notice that it's going to be a lot faster. Click on apply and ok and we're already done with these two steps as well. Then for this next step you want to open up your keyboard software no matter which keyboard it is open it up and if you have any heavy RGB effects on your keyboard you actually might want to turn these off because it has been proven that all of these effects are basically sending interrupts to your PC causing higher input delay. So therefore for me actually whenever I'm gaming I'm not using any of these here even though they're pretty fancy like don't get me wrong there but I have it completely turned off for the least amount of input delay. Additionally to that if you have a keyboard with adjustable actuation point you want to make sure that your current actuation point is of course on the lowest possible or the one you feel the most comfortable with playing with but there's actually a huge difference between having four millimeters actuation point or only 0.1. So of course if you have an Apex Pro Mini, Booting 60 or any of the new Razer keyboards you want to put your actuation point to the lowest possible and as well as select something like rapid trigger which basically allows your key to be again pressed after only being lifted 0.2 millimeters. And we're gonna click on the save and we're good to go for our keyboard settings as well. And when it comes down to your Fortnite settings, there's some key factors which you also need to pay attention to guys. Usually you have to play on full screen for the least amount of input delay. Only in this season because stretch rest is kind of broken, you have to maybe use windowed full screen for the stretch rest to work. But other than that, always make sure to play on full screen if you're playing on native. And of course also your rendering mode on the performance mode which gives you the least amount of input delay. Additionally, you want to make sure that you also turn off report performance stats this one on disabled and that your fortnite is actively sending data in the background especially if your game crashes or something like that or basically as it says here upload of detailed performance stats to the epic game servers the next up you also want to go into audio and make sure that you put your audio sound quality actually on low performance it even says in the description that high quality sounds better but may decrease performance and you also want to turn off visualized sound effects once you get all of these here you are on the best way to get the least amount of input delay and of course i can highly also recommend recommend you to play on the list Stripes 1v1 map. This map is designed for low-end PCs, making sure that you have the least amount of input delay in Fortnite, so therefore make sure that you try it out. 